Essential question. When has a plan helped you accomplish a task? Read about how Ping follows a plan to find a lost brocade. Long ago in China, a poor woman and her son Ping lived in a tiny hut. The woman earned a living weaving beautiful brocade hangings, which her son sold. She wished she could give Ping a better home, but at last that was impossible. So she decided to weave a brocade of a magnificent house with gardens. At least they could look at something lovely. It took three years to complete the brocade and it was her finest work. However, soon afterward, a great wind swept into their hut and carried it away. The woman was grief stricken. So Ping went off in pursuit of the brocade, assuring his mother he would bring it home. Ping walked for three days and came to a stone house. A bearded man sat outside. I'm searching for my mother's brocade, Ping said. A brocade flew by three days ago, said the man. Now it's in a palace far away. I'll explain how you can get there and lend you my horse. Ping thanked the man and bowed deeply to express his gratitude. First, you must ride through Fire Valley, said the man. You must cross over it regardless of the scorching heat without uttering a word. If you utter even a single sound, you will burn. He continued, after you've crossed Fire Valley, you will arrive at Ice Ocean. You must ride through the icy waters without shivering. If you shiver even once, the outcome will be terrible. The sea will swallow you up. The old man paused before concluding, when you emerge from the sea, you'll be facing the mountain of the sun. The mountain is as steep as a straight line up to the sky. The palace sits on top of the mountain and the brocade is in the palace. It sounds like an extremely difficult journey, said Ping, but I'll do my very best. He mounted the horse and traveled for three days, reaching the Fire Valley. As he crossed the valley, angry flames leaped out at him. Then intense heat brought tears to Ping's eyes, but he said nothing. When he reached the other side of the valley, he saw the ice ocean. With Ping's gentle guidance, the horse entered the frigid waters. The sea touched Ping with icy fingers, but he didn't shiver once. So horse and rider crossed the sea, emerging safely on the other side. Next, Ping approached the mountain of the sun. He rode up the steep mountain, grasping the reins for dear life. Finally, he reached the top and dismounted at the palace door. A lovely princess welcomed him. I'm Princess Ling, she said. I thought your mother's brocade was beautiful and wanted to copy it, so I sent a great wind to your home. I've, co I've now copied the brocade, so please take it home. Have a safe journey. Thank you, said Ping, who stared at the beautiful princess. She was a perfect rose. He wondered if he could ever see her again and detected a knowing smile on her face as she, they said goodbye. Ping mounted his horse, placing the brocade under his jacket. First, he rode down the steep mountain of the sun. Next, he rode back across the ice ocean without shivering once. Then he rode across Fire Valley without making a sound. Finally, he arrived at the home of the bearded man who sat outside just as he had the previous time. Ping thanked him, returned his horse, and began the long walk home. Ping arrived home three days later. Here is your brocade, mother, he announced as she cried tears of joy. Together, they unrolled it, and before their eyes, the brocade came to life. Suddenly, their hut became a magnificent house with gardens, but that wasn't all. Standing before them was Princess Ling. Ping and the princess got married, and a year later, Ping's mother became a loving grandmother. 
they all lived happily together in their beautiful home and gardens.